Hello! Welcome back again! Today we are going to talk about seed dispersal, but what is seed dispersal? Well, let's have a look. Seed dispersal is when seeds are transported from the plant to another area, alright, in order to grow. But why do we want to transport seeds from one side, from one place to another place? Well, let's talk about that, alright? Uh, there is a very, very good explanation for that, a very good reason. And the main reason is because we want to avoid competition. I mean, we have a very big and nice plant, alright? Now this plant has seeds and the little seeds drop and start growing right next to the big plant. Alright, this little seed is gonna have lots and lots of problems for growing. Why? Because the big, the big plant has already roots and those roots are taking all the nutrients and water that the little plant needs. This is a big plant, so it's getting all the sand and covering the little plant. Alright? And everything is like that. So in order to avoid that, in order to make it easy for little seeds, little plants grow, plants have developed uh, some kind of strategies in order to send their seeds far away. Alright? We, we can talk about four methods. It's easy to know that they are four because we have four squares here. Four areas. <laughs> first method. Well, the first method are gonna be animals. Yep, plants use animals in order to spread the seeds. Another one, wind. This is much, much easier, yes? Alright. The next one is the water. This is very interesting. And finally, my favorite, <laughs> it's through explosions. Yep! Plants explode. <laughs> well, let's start. Let's start talking about uh, animals, how plants use animals in order to spread their seeds, okay? So, they have different, different tactics. One of them is using hooks, okay? You can see here the hook. This is the plant, all right? It's not the animal, it's the plant. But plants, what they do is they cover their seeds with lots and lots of hooks. Like, for example, the burdock. And when animals walk around, these hooks are going to get to hold on the fur of the animals. But not only on the fur, right? When you walk on the countryside, you go for a walk, sometimes this is what happens, what you find in your socks, yes? So this is one way. People or animals start walking around, blah, 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 blah. The seeds get stuck on them. And after a while, they will fall. So the seeds are going to fall far away from their mummy. And no more competition. Perfect. Another technique. Hmm. The next technique is juicy fruits. What does it mean? Well, if we cover the seed with a juicy fruit like blackberries or cherries, mmm, I want to eat them. And as I want to eat them, animals like deers or birds, uh, they want to eat them too. So they eat them. What happens? Well, when we when they do their digestion when they digest the fruit they only digest the fruit they don't digest the seed 
So after a while, the animal and the bird are walking around. Um, poop. Hehehe. <laughs> and yes, right in that poop, we can find the seeds. That now they are far away from their uh, mummy tree or mummy plant. Okay. So yes, juicy fruits coming out from poops. Ha <laughs> ha ha. And finally, the last technique, but the last technique that we are going to learn, all right? There are many, but the last technique that we are going to learn is about is animal burial. What does it mean? All right, let me explain you. We have, for example, acorns, all right? There are some animals who love acorns. Do you know them? I'm sure, yes. These little ones. Squirrels, okay? So they are going to dig a hole and put the, uh, put the acorns on it, all right? Why do squirrels do that? Well, because they want to keep them there for winter. Winter time, when it's cold, squirrels can come back and have their food there, storage food. What happens? That uh, squirrels, they made lots of holes everywhere. So, eventually they don't remember all of them. They forget about some of those seeds, about some of, of those acorns, and with the time, a new tree will grow. <laughs> Alright, smart plants, eh? Now, another method of seed dispersal is the wind and we have two main options two main techniques one of them is the spinning what that what do i mean all right do you see the sycamore seeds uh when you think about this what comes to your mind all right let me tell you Imagine that now wind begins to blow and this special design is going to make like a helicopter, all right? And they are going to blow and fly away, way, way from the, from the tree. So no more competition. Another option, instead of spinning, they can use parachutes. What is a parachute? Hmm. For, you, for those who don't know, let me explain you. This is a parachute. So when the, when the wind blows away, the parachute is going to fly away. But instead of a ninja, what we are going to have is a seed. One example. The, this, I'm sure you know this flower. Well, this plant, it's full of hundreds of little parachutes. And at the end of, its, of each parachute, we have a seed. This plant is called dandelion, exactly. And we see them every single year, almost everywhere. All right, let me show you how it works. The block, the... the the wind comes, starts blowing, and can you see the seeds? The seeds are on the parachutes. So the seeds won't fall right next to the plant. They will, they will grow far away. Mm, cool. Another option, instead of the wind, we can use water. When for water, I mean streams. Or currents of water for example those plants who grow close from the tree close from the from water an example the yellow water lily all right this is the seed the seed is going to to travel to swim la 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 la, la. and when it finds a right place a right location it's gonna stay there grow roots and it's going to grow but now it's going to grow far away 
from its mummy plant. Another option. <laughs> Do you know coconuts? Yes? Alright. Well, yes. Coconuts also travel, and they travel thousands and thousands of kilometers. How? Well, they have a little secret. They can swim. Because they can swim in the middle of the ocean, they just wait until they find a nice beach. So, whoa, this is a nice place. I'm gonna grow here. And eventually, we have our tree, our palm tree, that will make more coconuts. The coconuts will flow, will, uh, will fall in the water and fly away, well, swim away, okay? And last but not least, explosions. <laughs> but for this one, I'm gonna give you just two examples. These are squirting cucumbers and peas. Yes, peas. They explode. But for these, go to the website and watch the videos that they are waiting for you. They are really, really cool. Well, bye bye. See you later.